On the whole, humans like to eat animals that have suffered, be it humanely in state-of-the-art slaughterhouses or more traditionally in sadistic culinary rites. Examples of the latter abound on every continent, but perhaps none more so than in Asia, especially in the vicinity of China. And in the video, we're looking at 10 of the worst, and do note here that if you're squeamish, you might want to uh, just avoid this one. Number 10. Drunken Shrimp There are several variations on this dish, but they all involve getting shrimp drunk and cooking them alive. Some chefs soak them in alcohol and set them ablaze, while others let them swim around and then drown in wine before steaming them with vegetables. As needlessly violent as it sounds, it's actually pretty reasonable if you absolutely must eat shrimp. Shellfish are crawling with parasites that rapidly multiply once the host is dead, releasing toxins that may survive cooking. This is why we cook lobsters live, and, you know, at least the Chinese are getting those shrimp drunk first. There's still a hint of sadistic glee to the name, though, which, coincidentally, is phonetically near identical to the Chinese for lowest of the low. Number 9. Loach Hot Pot The dojo, or loach, is apparently a pet-like fish that can be trained and enjoys being touched. In Japan, it has been a staple of the average working-class diet for centuries. Nowadays, it's popular among tourists too, particularly at the famous Komagata Dojo restaurant in Asakusa. Here, they are served pre-cooked in a broth atop a charcoal burner alongside a selection of seasonings and green onions. By the time diners finish the cooking process themselves, the dojo are so tender that they can be eaten whole, bones and head and all. Although this loach hot pot is what most Japanese will think of when they hear the words dojo nabe, there's another more sadistic preparation to be aware of. Some think it's a myth, but some actually claim to have tried it. Like the better-known family-friendly version, the so-called hell tofu version is simple. Loaches are placed into a pot of cold water with a block of tofu and gradually brought to the boil. As the water heats up, the fish burrows into the tofu to escape, only to be cooked alive in it. Number 8. Three Squeaks Supposedly a traditional delicacy of Guangdong province, three squeaks is a dish of live baby rodents, the pink and hairless kinds that you see scrambling out of a womb. Diners grab them with chopsticks, squeak one, dip them in hot sauce, squeak two, and then crunch them between the teeth, squeak three. It has to be said that most Chinese people are just as appalled by this as anyone else, just as they are by many dishes on this list. But as video evidence goes to show, it's nevertheless definitely a thing. It's just unlikely to be traditional. Videos of people eating the dish tend to have the feel of a YouTube-style challenge or dare, suggesting that it's anything but normalized in China. Further, most people in the videos, they're not chewing. Still, traditions have to start somewhere. Perhaps we're seeing the birth of a brand new culinary crime that will haunt us for years to come, just as the squeaks presumably haunt those diners. Number 7. Hot Turtle Soup Hot turtle soup is a traditional dish in various Asian countries, but it's controversial for a number of reasons. First, many turtle species are critically endangered. This is partially why turtle soup is now so rare in the United States, although it once was a common dish there. Second, the consumption of marine turtles carries the risks of colony toxism, a type of food poisoning associated with coma and organ problems. After all, turtles can absorb a great many contaminants from polluted waters during their potentially decades-long lifespans. And while turtle farming might be a booming business in China, so is poaching them from the wild. But hot turtle soup is also exceedingly cruel. A recipe in the Chinese cookbook from 1917 quickly gets the barbarism out of the way, but it's plain to see in step one. It says, put the live turtles, all three of them, in a cooking pan of cold water. Bring to a boil slowly. There's no mention of the suffering involved. The recipe quickly moves on to frying the meat in fun wine. But contrary to popular belief about lobster cooking, starting with cold water does not anesthetize the animals. There's actually a great deal of pain for them. Number 6. Snake's Heart Videos like this, if we're not too careful, can give the racist impression that most East Asian countries are barbaric and bloodthirsty, and that animal cruelty is somehow inherent to their cultures. This certainly seems to be the view taken by Western backpackers who flock to Vietnam's traditional snake restaurants to feast on the hearts and blood of live snakes. But it's almost a Western invention. In fact, this particular tradition dates back roughly as far as the beach movie from 2000 with Leonardo DiCaprio. Although it may have some basis in tradition, or folk medicine, it's never been a widespread custom. That might be because it's disgusting, cruel, and carries the risk of salmonella poisoning. As Nguyen Tam Than of Animals Asia points out, the fact that it survives at all is largely down to the tourist trade. The Vietnamese generally don't share the Western backpacker bloodlust. 
Le Mat, an authentic snake village conveniently close to Hanoi, is the primary hotspot for the practice. The typical visit goes something like this. Backpacker chooses the size and type of snake they want to torture, from a range that includes critically endangered specimens from the wild. Their host then slices it lengthways and exposes the still beating heart. Backpacker pulls it out with their teeth and swallows. They'll then wash it down with a shot of rice wine and freshly drained blood and bile. The rest of the snake is then made into a varied selection of dishes. Number 5. Live Baby Octopus San Nakji is another dish popularized by a movie, Old Boy, from 2003, but in this case, it's actually traditional. In South Korea, people actually eat raw baby octopus tentacles complete with still-functioning suction cups. Typically, hopefully, octopuses are technically dead when chefs start hacking off their arms, but not always. And when they're not, these intelligent creatures most definitely feel pain, just as much as any other animal would if you chopped off its limbs piece by piece. In any case, because of their complex, highly distributed nervous systems, with two-thirds of their neurons located in the tentacles, they continue to move and suck even after they're severed from the brain, and apparently that's all part of the appeal. Apparently good for the liver and popular as an accompaniment to drinks, Sangnagji is traditionally associated with older Korean men. Actually, it might be more accurate to say that the drinks are an accompaniment to the dish, since they apparently help to keep the suckers from sticking in the throat, causing less cautious diners, roughly six of them every year, to choke to death. Another way to avoid this fate, aside from obsessive chewing, is to eat them with raw garlic, something that the suckers are said to dislike. Number 4. Ikizukuri Prepared Alive It's easy to denounce many of the other items on this list as unhygienic, unappetizing, or just plain ugly. Ikizukuri has a certain artistry to it, but it's still a massive disgrace. Ikizukuri basically means prepared alive in Japanese, which means it's about as fresh as sashimi can get. After selecting a living, breathing fish from a tank, sushi chefs work to rapidly remove their scales and guts without killing them before splaying the flesh for diners to pluck out with chopsticks. On the plate, the fish continues to breathe through its gills, their spine quivering and tail twitching in agony as they glare accusingly from a bed of ice. Crustaceans, octopuses, frogs, and other animals may also be served live in this way, but fish are the most quintessential. Scientists say that fish don't feel pain, claimed one reporter, incorrectly, no doubt clutching at some half-remembered headline. But even she wasn't entirely convinced, finding herself unable to stomach eye contact with her food before giving up and gulping down some sake. Number 3. Yin Yang Fish Yin yang fish is a balancing act of complementary opposites, sweet and sour, hot and cold, life and death, but its sadism goes unchecked. It can be thought of as Ikizukuri's uglier, lazier cousin, consisting of a half-dead carp whose body has been deep-fried in batter while the head remains uncooked. This monstrosity is served twitching on the plate with sweet and sour sauce. The key, according to one restaurant owner, is haste. By ensuring that the internal organs are unharmed by the cooking process and that the head is wrapped in a wet cloth throughout, the fish can reportedly live to upwards of half an hour once out of the fryer. That particular restaurant owner has been the subject of heavy criticism, with one customer even calling the police. Because the carp species wasn't endangered, there was actually no crime here, however the dish has been dropped from the menu. Number 2. Monkey Brains you may have heard the tale. Monkey pokes its head up through a specially made hole in the table and diners smash its skull before digging out its brains with a spoon. This particular dish was featured in the 1978 exploitation shockumentary Faces of Death, which may have inspired the dinner scene in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom from 1984. But it seems to be a fanciful myth, an urban legend based on a joke by a newspaper columnist in 1948. Its persistence in videos like this could also just be a case of mistranslation. Hoi To, monkey head, is better known as lion's mane, an edible fungus popular in East Asian cuisine, while now brain is said to be another word for tofu. Monkeys tend to be protected nowadays alongside pandas, elephants, tigers, and so on, with penalties for poaching including life imprisonment and even death. There's also the risk of CJD to contend with. Eating brains can ironically cause dementia as well as coma and death. Even so, it's not unheard of footage purported to be of some Vietnamese youths chopping open a monkey's skull and scooping out its brains into their mouths emerged in 2017, and unfortunately, it appears to be real. Number 1. Live Screaming Donkey Donkey hide gelatin is highly sought after in China as a remedy for anemia, wrinkles, tumors, and low energy or low libido, among other conditions. In fact, demand is so high that donkeys are routinely snatched from villagers by organized criminal syndicates. But donkey meat is a delicacy too, and it's pricey compared to many other meats. To reassure customers that it's actually donkey meat that they're getting, vendors are known to bludgeon the animals to death at the side of the road and butcher their meat for passing motorists. Some diners like to stick around, though, allegedly. It's not exactly a popular dish, but live screaming donkey is exactly as it sounds. 
chefs hogtie and restrain living donkeys while they slice off bits of their flesh, serving them up raw to diners seated nearby. The sound of agonized braying is supposed to be a welcome accompaniment to the meal. For those who prefer the donkey meat cooked, some chefs are said to peel back the skin and pour boiling water onto the flesh. The good news is that there's not a great deal of evidence to back this up. At the very least, as with some of the other more dubious entries on this list, it may be a brand new tradition in the making, a myth made real by humanity's appetite for sadism. If so, sadly, we're probably going to see a video of it at some point. So I'm not going to ask whether you enjoyed that video, but I do hope you found it interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below, and don't forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also check out my other channel called Highlight History. You'll find a link to that below. And as always, thank you for watching.